All right, today's vlog is gonna be about Pokemon Go. And my exposure is real low, so you can't see my face. All right, today's vlog is gonna be about Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go only. So the goal for today is to hunt them all. Like, I'm going to catch every single one today. Probably not, because I think it's like region locked, but we're gonna try to catch at least all of them in this area. At least. Because we're gonna be a Pokemon master. All right, ready. All right, gonna go do some training, class. Pick up Mariah, and we're gonna go catch some Pokemon. All right, we'll see how this goes. It's so awkward. All right, so I've just been kind of catching Pokemon as the day's been going on. Probably not the safest thing to do, but yeah. So, back from class, got some Starbucks because I'm a basic white girl. Other than that, good to go. Okay, so about to go to my sister's lunch thing that we have here at this pizzeria that's pretty awesome. Um, it's called Roma's. If you ever get a chance and you're in Bethalto, hit it up because it's really good. But, I have about an hour to kill, so I'm gonna go catch some Pokemon. But so far, I've caught like a bunch of Pokemon. I have like 39 out of like the, I don't know how many you can catch, but I have 39 different ones, kind of, maybe. No, that one's pretty similar. Okay, but anyway, point is, it's a fun game. If you don't have Pokemon Go, download it, it's amazing. I'm sure you probably already have it, but we're gonna go see if we can beat this gym that's like, down the road, I guess. It's like down there. It's down that way. So we're gonna go see if I can beat it, but it's like a 900. So probably not, but yeah. We're gonna try. Okay, we're just gonna kinda walk around. Alright, so I have no idea whether or not you can actually see this. Which you probably can, that's fine. Okay, this wasn't that bad. Caught a Weedle and a Pidgey. <sighs> this Pokemon Go business. It doesn't help that it's like... 79 degrees outside and it's like hecka humid. So, walking around doesn't feel that great. But I'm gonna head back now, and I'm gonna go eat some pizza, hopefully. I don't know, I'll probably hit up one more or two pokey stops, which are those little things you just kinda spin around and uh, get like pokeballs and revives and potions and everything for. So, all right. Off two more pokey stops. The real question is, how does Ash catch him not have like legs of steel? I mean, that boy walks everywhere and he's like 10 years old. He's gonna be able to kick through like trees or something. Something, I'm telling you. Almost hatched my egg that I had in my little incubator thing. This is in my car for the AC for a bit because it's about the rain and no one's here yet. All right, so my Pokemon just hatched. Little shelter. Shelter. I wonder if I can make this thing a Pokemon. No, I can't. I need a lot of candy. That's the other thing, you need like candy for these Pokemon, but you have to get so much of it, it's insane. But I guess it does encourage you to walk around a little bit, so it's not that big of a deal. But still, and I just... Like this though, once you get them so high, you can just power them up. And then they just get really powerful. Which isn't bad, but... I don't know. 
case you're wondering, if you like evolve a Pokemon and then like transfer it, it doesn't give you any more like, credit things. So just like if you catch like the base evolution, like if you get a Pidgey, don't evolve it to a Pidgeot because then you're just wasting candies they could be using to like pump one of the other ones up. So just a pro tip in case any of you were doing that or are thinking about doing it and haven't discovered that yet.